Welcome to this YouTube tutorial on setting up your first React Native application in Visual Studio Code with Expo CLI. In this video, I will guide you through the necessary steps. To begin, let's open Visual Studio Code. Before we proceed, make sure you have Node.js installed on your machine. If you don't have it installed, you can download it from the official Node.js website and follow the installation instructions. If you want to confirm that the download was successful, run Node V in a terminal. If you see the version of Node.js, your download was successful. Next, we need to install Expo CLI. To do this, open a terminal or command prompt in Visual Studio Code and run the following command to install Expo CLI globally. npm install gexpo cli Once the installation is complete, we are ready to create our first React Native app. Expo will help us with this process. Start by navigating to the directory where you want to create your project. Then, open a terminal or command prompt and run the following command. Expo init my project replace, my project, with the desired name for your project. This command will create a new directory with all the necessary project files. Expo will prompt you to choose a template for your project. You can select a blank template or choose from various pre-configured templates such as tabs, bottom tab navigation, etc. For this tutorial, we will choose the minimal template. After the project is created, you can see that it's ready to use. To access the project folder, Use the terminal or command prompt to navigate into the project directory. Now, we can start the Expo development server by running the command Expo start. This will launch the Expo development server and generate a QR code that allows you to run the app on a physical iOS or Android device. To do this, you'll need to download the Expo app from the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Open the app. Use your device's camera to scan the QR code displayed in the terminal, and the app will load on your device. Alternatively, you can also run the app on an emulator by following the instructions provided by Expo in the terminal. With the development server running and your app loaded on a device or emulator, you can start coding your React Expo program. Visual Studio Code offers excellent support for React development, including features like syntax highlighting, IntelliSense, and debugging capabilities. That's it. You have successfully started a React Expo program in Visual Studio Code. Now you can continue building your app by editing the code files in your project directory. Remember to save your changes, and the Expo development server will automatically update your app on the device or emulator. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thank you for watching, and happy coding!